Welcome to um, Kendra's Artistic uh, Crochet Designs. Was, okay, so today is um, Tutorial Monday, and um, we are going to be sewing our strawberry sweater together. Uh, so I started, um, we're doing the back panels, and I'm doing three across and five rows down. So I've got all my rows ready to go and pinned together. I pinned them together. And um, we're going to sew this together using the um, mattress stitch um, because I don't want any ridges on the front of this. I want this to lay flat. So I am, you know, we've got enough ridges on this side. I, I don't want the ridges in the middle. So what? Um, so we're gonna do a mattress stitch, and it'll, it'll make it lie flat, as you can see. We've got, I've got it going right here. Um, I'm gonna try to explain this to you, um, but I learned this just last night. I'm not good at this yet, so I'm hoping that I don't mess you up. Um, I'm going to try to explain it, but if you need further assistance, um, go to how to join squares, granny squares, with an invisible seam or a mattress stitch. Invisible seam, mattress stitch, same thing. Um, by Mima Makes. Um, M-E-E-M-A and then M-A-K-E-S, Makes. Go to her channel, and she explains it wonderfully. Um, so, um, and if you need any more help, go to Mima's channel, and um, and it, she will explain it to you as well. Um, so what? So what? What we did is on the first on the first square. You go down into one stitch on the back loop only and up through another, up through the next stitch. So I'm in the next square. So I'm going to go down through the back stitch, of the stitch that I already did, and then I'm going to go up through the back stitch of the, the new stitch. So I went down and up, and then you just take it and okay so then you go to the your other square and you'll go down into the stitch that you've already put something in right and then come back up through the other stitch and then you pull it through and then you just do that all the way down so we're going to go down in and up through and we're using back stitches only. And then once you get your stitches in, you just keep going from one square to the next and do that. So we did that bottoms. Now we're going back to the top square. We're going to do it again and until we get all the way down. And then once you get you know several strands in, you're going to pull this yarn and it zips it tight. You just pull this yarn here like this, and it zips it tight, close together. And this, this is, this is, I've never done this stitch before, and I think I found a new favorite way of sewing granny squares together, um, because I really, really like this. Um, and like I said, I just learned this yesterday, and, um, I think I really like this. So you just keep going down until you get down to the corner. Keep and going back and forth to each square and going down in and up through the next stitch. And then come back to the other square, go down in and up through the next stitch. And we're just doing back loops only. So next square down in and up. And just continue going from each square 
from each side. I like it that I don't have to hold squares together. I do like that part. Okay, so now we're going to go down in that stitch and come back up. And same way on this side. And let's see. Yeah, help if I put my glasses on. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go down in and up the next stitch. We're almost at the end of this thing. Down and up. Go down into the stitch and up the next stitch. Come up. down and up and then as you go you just pull it tight so I'm going to go down and up Down in and up. Down and up. And then when you get to the end, When we get to the end of the squares, just as we did there, I have my next set that I've put these together. See how I've got these? They're going together. So you just keep continuing. So I'm going to, wait a minute, I'm going to finish. i got to do one more. One more set here. And one more set here. Right there. There. All right, so now I'm going to go to the next one straight across. And um, I'm going to find, we, we have uh, three um, uh, double crochets in the corner. You're going to go to that second double crochet, and you're going to go down into that stitch. Can you see? Okay. So you're going to go down into that stitch and then you're going to come up the next stitch. And you're going to pull that through. And you're going to pull that tight. Then you're going to go across it and you're going to do the, find the second stitch of that and you're going to go it's in the back loop you're going to go down into the back loop and up the back loop of the next stitch and then you're going to pull pull it tight um, and keep them tight so that will will keep these tight together So then we're going to come back down here and we're going to look for the stitch that we, we've got something in. We're going to go down in it and up the next stitch. And then we're just going to continue and go down into this one and up the next stitch. Come back to this other one, down and up. And then back here, we're going to go down and up. 
So we're just in this way, we're just going to, um, we're just going to keep going until we have all of our rows together. Like I said, I did five um, rows. So I've got, um, on my back panel, I've, I've got three squares across and five rows down. And you just keep going all the way down to the end by connecting these together. And then you will, um, let's see, try to get you out a little bit there. Then you'll go down here and you'll start here and you'll go all the way down like that. And then um, once that um, these are all together, then once they're both these rows are done, then you're going to go and you're going to go across. You're going to go do these rows until they're all together. So that it, it all depends on how many rows. This is how I'm doing my sweater because I'm doing this for a friend of mine. Um, so, um, it all depends on how many squares you had to make for yourself. And so how you're going to, um, sew this together. But, um, like I said, I, I would, um, visit Mina, um, makes and, um, see, you know, she does a very good job of showing you how to put these squares together. And um, probably a lot better than what I'm doing right now. So I am um, going to let you go um, to sew your squares together. Um, the, this is my back panel, and then I've got to do um, I've got to do two front panels, which I'm doing. Um, so we're going to do So this is the back panel. So th this I'm just going to be sewing these together. Just one front panel and then another front panel. So I'll be doing the front panels. Um, and then we'll come back after we get all of this together and um, go to the next step. So I will see you then.